Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this hour's Architects Online session brought to you by Architects. My name is Patrick and I'm from Tachitika Blinds. Architects Fast Forward is a webinar series focused on holistic perspective from the industry. Each session brings together a collaboration with the industry with renowned architecture and building professionals, sharing their experience from various perspectives, including industry, business, and education to address current key issues and topics. Please note that this session is also CPD applicable. To claim your CPD points, please follow the instructions in the command section below. Kindly also note that the CPD points will be displayed on screen during this webinar session. In this session, we'll be having our longtime partner of ours, Ransom, to share, his biz, to share with us a little bit about outdoor sun shading. Ransom is a fourth generation company with their headquarters located in Belgium. So without further ado, let's welcome Steven. Hi, Steven. Hi. Hello, everyone. Thanks to join uh, our webinar. My name is Steven Valencia, as you know. I represent Ransom for Southeast Asia. First, I'm going to show you a video what we're doing and why we're doing. My video don't move. So I see. Uh, something happened with my my video doesn't start. Can we play it now, Steven? Find it. Uh, now, yeah. So why are we doing what we're doing? I was there. And then after that, I'll give you an overview from our products that fit for the Southeast Asian market. Man was once an outdoorsman living in and with nature, in the open air, enjoying the sunshine, wind, and water. Being outside is in our genes, because we still feel better when we are outside, on the beach, in the mountains, in the woods, on a patio, at the campsite. Being outside gives us a sense of freedom and well-being. Being outside activates our senses. But today we spend 90% of our time inside, inside our houses, homes, and apartments, inside offices, hospitals, care homes, schools, and academies, inside cars, buses, trains, and planes. We have been transformed into an indoorsman, but still with the same needs as the outdoorsman, need for fresh, clean air, an atmosphere in which you can relax with the right temperature and light in which you feel comfortable and protected. So what we do have to do, the climate is changing. Temperatures have risen due to climate change. We feel the influence of the sun much more often. We have high concentrations of CO2 in our buildings. We have to make do with less oxygen. And the amount Hi guys, of uh, Stephen. I think uh, maybe because of like some technical issues, I think it would be better if you just uh, jump straight right into your slides because I think we can definitely hear you. But I think the video is not good. Uh, okay, I see it here for our health inside our house. Yes, yeah, please, please jump in. Please jump in. Yes, that would be great. Thank you, Stephen. Okay, good. So for us, is it really uh, a challenge? Architects face. So on that, uh, we need to improve performance and focus on uh, ventilation is important, control the light and the sun protection. Improve our health, what is very important for our uh, ventilation. Also finding the right balance with external blinds and transparent fabric. You can control the light. So here is a video who shows the impact the facade of by ransom so right. 
So we are looking for the ventilation, the fresh air coming in on the window, damping the noise from the street side, and our uh, health box controlled actually with the sensors that uh, polluted air can go out. So controlling with the external blinds, the screens control the light inside. And then the patio outside, to, you can join also in the evening to sitting outside with sliding panels or fixed screens. So ventilation, smart ventilation is what you need. You need enough of fresh air that's coming in, in the correct location at the right time and for the right reason. Our system, our health box is built out with some uh, sensors, VOC, CO2 and humidity. And so he detected where you need the ventilation at the right time. So the natural ventilation on the window, the mount controlling our health box and the smart sensor on the health box. And then with the Ransom app, you have an overview of what happens with the ventilation in your house. Here is a video who shows that the air coming in at the window smoothly 24 hours and then the ventilator connected where he needs more or less ventilation. He opened the valve if he needs more ventilation when someone, for example, is in the bathroom. And then it's an advantage. You can have an overview on the app what's happened at home. Also, it's important that the valve is so close as possible to the ventilator that you don't hear any uh, noise from the ventilator, from the health box. So, is uh, choose the right system that is important for the architect, the type of the, the building and the house. Also the acoustic, when the house is built next to the airport, train station of highway, uh, and then also the use of the maintains that they can choose it in our range. Then we're coming to the sun protection. For the sun protection, we is important to see um, how we keep the the home school. How you do that with external blinds is a system that we produce, and also the night cooling. The night cooling we have a uh, burglary proof louver integrated in the window that you can open it at night. Also used at uh, office. Uh, schools is also important because the the louver is a uh, burglary proof, so you can uh, avoid the overheating in the rooms. So you need the right balance. The right balance you can choose with a fixed screen. If the sun is not on the window, you can completely open it, and then when the sun is coming, you put down the screen, and then we have a different types of fabric. The Sergé, for example, we have a transparent from 5%, and we have the Nate, is another type, that is 3%. And then we have also the blackout. The blackout, they're using, for example, uh, sleeping room, uh, hotels, they completely blackout. What is important, on the outside, you don't see any difference. It's a blackout or 5% uh, uh, transparent. You only see that on the inside. So the fixed screen, external blinds, we produce that already 50, 15 years. Our technology, where we give also uh, 70 years warranty on our technology. And we have a high wind resistance uh, up to 130 kilometers an hour. That means you can use it in every weather situation. Also, our uh, side channel, uh, we have co-extrusion patent. And that is actually for the uh, soundless guiding of the fabric. So what system fits for your project? That fits with a, a fixed screen or with architectural. On our screens, we have different types. First, we have the fixed screen. And the fixed screen is a normal screen that you're pulling down when necessary. Then we can uh, go up till 22 square meters in one piece. 
Then we have a solution, slide fix, that is for a, a sliding door. Uh, the screen's coming from the sides. The box is hiding uh, behind the facade. Then we have the Pano Vista, Pano Vista Max. And that is the fabric, the screen going around the corner without any side channel on the corner. Then we have the fixed screen freestanding, for example, for a balcony. Uh, the balcony uh, is also wind, rain and insect screen. At the end, we have our top fix, that is for a, a skylight in the roof. There we have the top fix max and that's going to 30 square meters in one piece. So for the fixed screen, vertical screen, we have uh, different types. We have the normal fixed screen that you can, uh, like the type slim that you can hit behind the facade. And also the side channel is hiding behind the facade. Uh, and we have the fixed screen Mono AK. Mono AK is a, a system that you uh, install above the window that's mostly used by uh, high rise buildings. Uh, and then the service can go from the inside, acceptable from the inside. The fixed screen is a dynamic system because you can use it when you need it. When you don't have any sun, you pull it up. When the sun is coming, you pull it down. Um, and also the transparency of the, the fabric. If you want to have a nicer view, 5% uh, transparent. And then if you more sun protection, dependent of the side, the sun, the south or the north of the, the building. And there you can choose for an ATE that is 2%, uh, 3 2% transparent or blackout on the sleeping room. Also interesting is uh, the fixed screen slim uh, and the 150 as well. Uh, you can choose if you have uh, the screen close to the window, so as close as possible, or with some distance. Some distance is necessary if you have something, uh, a handle on your window, that you have some distance of the window. Also interesting is for the, um, the balconies fixed screen. Here we can till six meter wide in one piece. And you can pull it down as a wind a weather situation. You can pull it down uh, as protection so you can stay longer time in a year outside. Also for the, the balconies, you can easy uh, hidden that in the construction. So for service, you have to pull down actually the, the tube and the motor, you have to pull it down. So then we coming to the slide fix, a little bit more details on that. The slide fix for a sliding door, that is nice integrated uh, in the facade and minimal design. And there you can choose for uh, one from one side because we are limited in maximum sizes of the height from three meters and projected uh, four meters. Or you can choose it from both sides. Then you can cover eight meters in one piece. Also nice is to see for corner solutions. You can choose it an outdoor corner or an inner corner. Also important uh, that you have to look at this for the water drainage that your water can escape in the bottom of the floor. Different types of using that. And we're coming to the Pano Vista Max. Uh, Pano Vista Max is around the corner and without, uh, told you, without any side channel on the corner. It's with the, the fabric is uh, closed with the zip system on the corner. There you can choose many colors we have in our range. You can choose also the box you can have in, a, in other colors. And that is control it with one motor to, to uh, control two screens. And they go in up and down. And you can cover 30 square meters in one piece. So one side can be till six meter wide. And a maximum height is 3,400 millimeters. Also important, if you close it completely, it's also an insect screen. And then when you open it, it's a nice open view without any side channel uh, visible. Okay. So you can also, the box completely hidden behind the facade that you don't see anything when the, the, the screen is up. And we're coming to the top fix, the top fix range. And there we have also types from smaller one and the top fix max is the bigger size. 
the bigger size I told you is 30 square meters in one piece. Uh, that means that's five meters wide and six meter projected. That is an advantage of you have a skylight and you can cover uh, from both sides, you can cover 10 meters from uh, one view. And also advantage is you can put the box on the ceiling, on the, on the roof, on the roof, and then the screen, you pull it up. So in your sky, uh, you don't see any box. It's laying down on the, on the roof. Oops. Now I see. Hey, here's another solution, how you can uh, cover that. Also nice solutions. And there we have uh, different types of fabric. And we work with the uh, Soltis. Uh, Soltis uh, fabric, and there we have the 68 and the 92, depending on the transparent, but different types of uh, colors. Also uh, useful is using the Topfix Max for a terrace covering system. If you have your construction, you can lay down the Topfix Max until 30 square meters, you cover that, but the fabric needs a slope of 10, 15 degrees to escape uh, the water that's coming down, then coming in the bottom bar, and then escape to the side channel, and the side channel at the end of the side channel, the water coming out. And there we have also uh, five uh, colors on that type, but the water is waterproof, but the light can go through, so it's not completely dark. This is so important uh, also in the evening. Then we're coming to the system with the loggia, that the sliding panels, sliding panels where we have different colors, uh, blades, and also the sun clips where we have the different types of uh, aluminium blades fixed or movable as well. Loggia is a minimalistic uh, profiles when we have uh, the choose of the aluminium blades. What is important also for internal, that you still have the chance that the light can come in, but a good sun protection. And that the slide panels can be moved manual or uh, motorized uh, is possible. There are you an overview from the, the full up, the blades. And the blades we have, uh, the Loggia Alu. The Alu is an aluminium blade uh, where we can have to bigger sizes. Uh, depending of the profile for the stability. Then we have the Plano. The Plano is a square profile, more design. And then the Loggia wood, uh, that is the wood we're using for. And then we have the two Privus uh, with aluminium or wood. And there is a uh, movable, uh, manual movable in two sections. And the, the middle one is fixed for the stability and the rest you can uh, move manual. Uh, as privacy uh, or to have to create more ventilation is possible. Also, we have the canvas, and the canvas is interesting because we have a nice uh, collection of uh, fabrics, but the fabric go over the frame on one side. So on one side, you don't see the frame. It's a nice uh, figure uh, for the, uh, the customer. And then also possible with the uh, wood print, and there's an aluminium blade that you have in wood design. In wood design, we have there in three colors, light, egg, and then a more darker uh, wood design. And then, and also nice to see that you can uh, hidden the upper rail, can hidden in the ceiling, that you don't see the upper rail. And then we have also, when it is visible, we have cover profile that you don't see the upper rails. And to the sun clips, uh, sun clips is a fixed aluminium blade. There's a click system, so no visible screws. Only the mullion, you need to install it on the, on the wall. And there is a click system. So it is nice design. And there we have uh, three types of the sun clips. That is the 96, uh, and then the biggest one is the 170. And then we have then movable with the Icarus. Then there are uh, types from uh, 80 till uh, 480 blades we can use for. 
Also for corner, we have a nice design for that. No visible screws, only a click system. Also uh, for our outdoor concept, our outdoor concept, we have the Pajo covers. Cover, um, Pajo cover, uh, we mean um, it's movable blades, tiltable, then the blades open uh, 150 degrees. You can control the lights that's coming in or the sun can come in or sun protection. But also when it's raining, you close it and then it's 100% waterproof. So the water escape then to the sides in the gutter and then the water going down in the columns. Then we have also a system with aluminium blades that are retractable. That is our sky. And then for the canvas, we have uh, also for use for carports, uh, we have it with a, a fabric. So on the inside, there is a, a fabric and uh, above is it a uh, steel uh, plate on that that is completely waterproof and uh, the fabric on the inside creating ventilation. So that avoids that you have condense on the inside. So you don't want to have condense on your car, on your new car, for example. And then we have our uh, facade elements. Our uh, facade elements, there's a type that we have uh, three types of uh, aluminium that are click on the facade, on the mullion. Um, and then there are no visible screws uh, on that. And then we have the garden elements that you can use as well. Bigger one, more one, uh, a bench, for example, it's possible. Here you see an example. Okay? You can also uh, integrate some uh, wooden stripes that you can create a, a number uh, in the front that's visible. You can also put it on your garage, on the front door. Uh, when, when you close it, you nearly see where the garage is or the front door. Uh, that is nice design and no visible screws. Um, here you see also possible for the LED and the LED lights that you can integrate where you want. Uh, you can uh, move that also with uh, wooden stripes. And there we have different lengths. And from smaller ones, we have five types and from uh, 200 till 1 meter 200. Uh, different lengths we have it with LED or wooden stripes. And the wooden stripes, you can easily remove that to paint it and click it again. So it's uh, main thing. Also, we give 10 years warranty on the color of the aluminium blades. 10 years, yeah. Then in our um, terrace covering systems, we have like a more design, eh? our Algarve. Uh, we have then the arrow eh? without any uh, uh, columns on that. And then we can take every size on that. And we can integrate it that's in either, uh, every terrace coupling on that and then escape the water on the column. Here is the Camarque. The Camarque is uh, interesting because you integrated also the screens on the side. So if you pull up, you don't uh, see anything because the box and the side channel are integrated in the construction. There you can find also in different colors and also with uh, the columns, another color as the blades. And you can integrate the LED lights in the blades or in the gutters, or in the columns, uh, it's up to the customer. So you can use that longer time in the year, sitting outside, uh, also for a restaurant, uh, useful, that they can sit longer time. Uh, when it's starting to rain, they're closing the, screen, uh, the screens and the blades, so you can still sit outside. So what is important for us, eh, our outdoor concept is really creating a magic moment to sitting outside. So that was a little bit an overview from our products, what we're doing on ventilation, sun protection, and our outdoor concepts. Uh, about Ransom, uh, as you heard from Patrick, um, that is the fourth generation. And 110 years ago, they're starting actually with steel, steel hardware for doors and, and windows. Then after 15 years, they changed it to aluminium in the aluminium louvers uh, we had then. And later on with uh, Jan and Mr. Paul Renson, uh, we came over the external uh, sun protection uh, and also external blinds, our sun protection. So now in the group, after 110 years, we have three units. 
We have the ventilation, sun protection, and outdoor. And in the group of Ransom, we have uh, five brands uh, created. So, anyhow, anyhow, you will thank you, thank you very much for your time, uh, and I hope for a cooperation in the future. And uh, now we go back to uh, Patrick. Thank you. And thank you, Stephen. Thank you for amazing sharing. Um, so yes, actually we have quite a couple, uh, quite some different questions. But guys, if you do have any questions, it's your time now. Please send that in so we can have Stephen to answer them all for you. Um, Stephen, so actually we have um, first question. It's actually about ventilators. How many ventilators would be deemed effective, safe for a three-bedroom home? So that is the depending of the how big the room is, how much cubic they needed in an hour, and there we have the different window ventilations uh, systems that we can see. You create uh, around 40, 50, or 60 uh, cubic in an hour per meter, and then we figure it out how much you need. And then we have different systems on that. But that is also depending on how much. Uh, DB you want to uh, absorb. If you are on a street site or you're on a garden site, uh, that is depending on uh, how more uh, DB you're damping the noise, how less ventilation you have, um, less air that's coming in. So that we, we can, uh, depending how system you need. Also a possibility is you combine it with your aircon. If the aircon coming in, you can also create it then that the function, the health box working uh, on the amount of the polluted air, uh, CO2 or, or uh, humidity. Then we can share that with the aircon as well. But the important is they don't need to open the window anymore and they have 24 hours ventilation. I see. So um, the, um, another question regarding about ventila ventilation is also how does the sensor work with the ventilator um, on the smart system? And do you really have to install a ventilator for every sensor in the room? Or because I, I believe you mentioned something about the health box, right? Um, the, do we only need like one health box as like the, the major so-called like, for example, just like electrical, right? You need to have like a major DB and you split that into a smaller yes. DB um, throughout different parts. Is that something yes. similar as well? So we need like a big yes. health box um, that control for, for like the whole house. Then maybe if the room is pretty big, then we have like, we split that into smaller, uh, health yeah, box that that's like that. and yeah that's all calculated for the the hell box okay with the hell box you can uh, control 11 rooms 11 rooms and the total mm -hmm. of the cubic in one hour is 480 in one hour so you need to detect it from how big the rooms are of course and you have 11 rooms here can connect it to the the hell box and for one house it's a lot and that's a lot yeah yeah Yes, you definitely need like a very big house to have like 11 different rooms. Okay. Do it, but they so, use that, for example, apartments, they use that as well. Okay. Uh, so uh, if, since we have like a question regarding like three bedroom, if if it's just like one condominium, uh, it's like a condo, it's with um, a layout of maybe like a thousand square feet or like a hundred square meters, do you, would you say like one health box is enough with like good ducting and whatsoever? So that that's uh, up to the how big the rooms are, and then we calculate um, how big the four eighty uh, square meters in one hour for the health box. So okay, so if you okay. have eleven small so pro, uh, small rooms, no problem. But uh, for example, a school room at, at a school, yeah. there you need to. Detected, uh, for example, uh, six, seven rooms, classrooms, and that is the maximum. Yes, and do we also uh, could we also have like a live tracker on like through because I believe nowadays everything is like through app control. Is there any like indication through like phone app that we can see um, how many different pollutants that we able to take up with Hellbox, how much cleaner yep. air that we have? Are those information available? Yes, yes. So that's going further then. We, we ransom that we have our own app for that. 
and you can control the situation when you're on the road. You can see, oh, there's someone in my bathroom or is there someone, because you can see immediately that there, there is CO2 in the room. And they can see uh -huh. oh, a lot of CO2. <laughs> then the, the background change the color. So if it is a lot, when there are five uh, people in your bathroom, you will see that coming red. I see. Okay. So um, after that ventilators uh, question, ho hope that's okay, guys. But if you do have any questions regarding like ventilation, please do send in back again. So we'll try to uh, get it answered since Stephen is here. But if not, we'll move towards um, to outdoor. So there's this question about um, because everything is basically being installed outside. Is the fabric suitable for rain and wind? I mean, for Malaysia, um, we do have like strong wind and uh, strong monsoon seasons that we get a huge bunch of rain. So is that applicable for their fabrics? Is that okay? Yes, of course. Of course, then we, we, we test uh, our fabrics uh, from our suppliers, uh, the fabric. But what is important for us is the welding of the zip on that. And that's we working with the right partners who are doing correctly uh, the welding of the zip on that. And that is a motor uh, important uh, with our partners. But we guarantee that we up till 130 kilometers an hour. And now we did the last test for the normal fixed screen till 200 kilometers an hour. That was the last test with the 100 uh, box uh, till 200 kilometers an hour. So that means you can use it oh, in every okay. weather situation. Because if you have 200 kilometers an hour, that means you have the yes. chance that your roof of your building uh, blows away. So don't worry about yes. that. So we, we guarantee on that. And we give seven years warranty on that. And that is uh, in the market. That's uh, extreme a lot. Yes, I mean, I mean, 130 is something that I've known. But uh, with this latest news from Stephen that um, we can finally achieve a 200 kilometer per hour wind load, that's impressive. So next question. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. So if they were to purchase it in Malaysia, uh, if an owner purchase it here in Malaysia, what are the warranty? I think this question, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, basically, uh, as what Stephen has mentioned, um, the whole fixed screen system actually comes with a seven years warranty. And we also give a uh, wind warranty up to 130 kilometers per hour wind load. So hope that helps. Okay. Oh, next question. Um, if it were a fixed screen, what is the maximum width uh, that we can do, Stephen? Uh, six meters. But of course, we, we have we did already special solutions. Uh, there is possibility. If you're working without any uh, box, uh, only with brackets on the sides, you can go till seven meters. But you are limited, oh, of seven course. Meters you need to, yeah, but with brackets, uh, because the box, the profile is only six meters. But if you're working with uh, brackets yeah. without any box, then you can go till seven Correct. meters. But for the, uh, the warranty from uh, 130 kilometers an hour, we are limited till 22 square meters. So if you Understand. take seven meters wide, you cannot take so high anymore. Okay, okay. okay. How about the width then? So um, if, if what I get it correct, so basically everything from 22 meters square, correct? So if yep. there is, um, for, for example, if, it's, if the width is like six meters, then it has to be maybe, I think, three meters. 3.5. Yeah. Yes, correct. Okay. Yeah. And the other way around, or opposite. the same, right? Okay, it? Yes. got it. Okay. Oh, yes, this is a very interesting question. Um, why is Renson only focused on outdoor blinds, but not indoor? Uh, for us, Renson uh, starting with that, and uh, Renson thing is the most efficient product. So we, we look at it for the, the quality um, and the zip system, you don't need it on the inside. So we, we're looking at really the weather situation that you can use it longer time and more efficient. So you save your aircon if you have external blinds, you save a lot of energy inside. And that's where we focused on. Yeah, yeah. And we keep that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Because uh, just one quick note, uh, because um, I believe uh, most blinds or curtains that being installed here in Malaysia, I would say 
if there is like a hundred, if based on percentage, I would say it's like ninety nine point nine, uh, and yeah. So so I would say it's still like a new thing for us. So thank you for those small small information that you are sharing uh, to us here. Um, let's take one more question. Oh yeah, is it is it possible for fixed screen to uh, integrate with any smart uh, smart system? Yes, the control system, you can uh, connect it actually to uh, Domotica. And then we, we're using actually the LT motor, the Somfy LT motor, and then you can connect it. Okay. Or from Becker is also possible, but mostly for us, from yeah. our side, we're using the, the LT, Somfy LT. But Becker, you have that as well. So you can connect it to a, a smart uh, system. And that's the yeah. same for our so, ventilation. Uh, I see, I see. Yeah, so you mentioned a point. So for uh, Renson's, uh, most motorized products are from Sofi, correct? Yeah, yeah. the motors, uh, we are uh, okay. relied on uh, motors because we have our connect and go uh, with the Sofi mm -hmm. motor. And that makes it uh, easier for the installer. So the end customer don't yeah. see that. But for the installer, it helps because the motor and the bottom bar is the most heavy part of the fixed screen. So it's easier for the yeah. installer that he install the empty box with the side guides and then at the end he click in actually the the motor and the heavy part uh, on that and that is the connect and go so something that the competitors don't have yeah. i see that's good that's good to know um so i guess uh because we are we are pretty much on time. So I would say uh, really thank you for Stephen for joining us today. Uh, thank you for sharing about Renson and overall um, showing us that, you know, uh, basically from the history and from all the product offerings that you guys are doing right now. And really thank you Architects for getting everything online. So as you know, nowadays, uh, because of the virus, we are changing how we are working. So thank you, uh, Stephen, once again for your time. And thank you everyone for joining us for this session today. So as you can see, uh, if you do have any questions, you can contact us. Uh, my email is patrickq.com and stevens at, um, at branson.net. So thank you so much everyone for joining us today. Thank you, Stephen, once again. Thank you, Architects. Okay, thank good. you guys. We'll see you guys you. again next bye time. Bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye.